Kreuzel Pub to the end of year deals PSN sale. It's getting close to Christmas, so don't spend too much of your money. And I'm here to help with that. You'll always have money left over for presents as long as I'm around. So don't forget to subscribe to save a ton of money and find some really cool games to play as well. You're welcome here anytime. Anyway, this sale ends on the 21st of December, so that'll be your last day to pick up these deals. Let's look at the games. First up is Avon Colony Deluxe Edition. It was released in 2017, so it's 5 years old, and is on an 80% discount for the price of £4.99, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really awesome deal, as this new edition now includes the Cerulean Veil DLC as well, so you're getting the DLC included for the price you'd normally pay for the full game, which is great. You're getting the complete experience, and no extra cost. It's the best kind of deal, really. In this game, you get to build massive sprawling cities on Avon Prime, an alien planet full of deserts, tundras, and wetlands. You get to manage your colony while exploring the planet, discovering its ancient secrets and alien wildlife. This game looks really awesome. I'm a big fan of city management games, and this may not be the most complicated one ever made, but it's still really cool, and I like the theme of it. So if you're a fan of city management games, why not check it out? It's pretty decent, and it's at a good price. And if you've never played a city management game before, this is a great place to start. It's pretty cheap, and it's way more accessible than some of the more complicated ones so it's a fantastic place to start. If you've ever wanted to try one, I'd recommend this one. Why not take a look at it? Up next is Black Clover Quartet Knights Deluxe Edition. It was released in 2018, so it's four years old, and it's on at least an 85% discount for the price of £7.94, or £2.64 with PS Plus, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really good deal for PS Plus users, especially as this edition includes the season pass of three content packs worth £12, which is a really great deal. This game is based on the popular anime and manga, featuring an exclusive story not featured in either, so fans of the show will love this. In this game you play as Astra, with his friends who take part in 4v4 team battles, where you get to play as a fighter, healer, support, or ranged, working together to win the battles. This seems like a pretty obscure game, so if you're not a fan of Black Clover, then you probably don't want to pick it up, and want to look at something else in the sale instead. Control Ultimate Edition is our next game. It was released in 2020, so it's two years old, and is on a 70% discount for the price of £9.89, which is a really great price for such a good AAA game with a ton of extra content included. Just be careful which version you pick up, because one version is for PS4 only, and another version is for PS4 and PS5. So if you're buying it on the PS4 store, it's probably the PS4 version, so you should log onto a PS5 or the PSN store website, and buy it off there where you can access the version that will give you the PS5 one as well. You might as well get the best version with the free upgrade included, because it's the same price, so just make sure you go out of your way to get it. And this edition includes both of the DLC story expansions, so you get a massive amount of extra content for the complete game experience, which you can't ask for anything more, you're getting everything that's ever been made for the game at a really good price. This game is a third person action adventure, where a corrupt presence has invaded the Federal Bureau of Control, and only you have the ability to stop it with your psychic abilities and weaponry. It features a metroidvania style map, side missions, ability upgrades and challenging boss fights. This game got rave reviews when it came out. As is a brand new franchise it came out of left field and nobody was expecting it to be as good as it was. It did get into some problems later on though where they announced that you won't get a free upgrade to the PS5 edition. But hey I've given you a way to work around that right now so that's not going to affect you but people have been burnt in the past. In any case, it's a great game, it includes all of the expansions, and you can get a version that includes the PS5 edition as well. Definitely worth checking out for anyone that likes action games, and hey, if you've never played one of these sorts of games before, then you should look elsewhere because you can get better deals. Although this is a great game, so if you're very tempted, you might want to get it anyway. Next up, we have Dead Island Definitive Collection. It was released in 2016, so it's 5 years old, but they're much older games than that really and they're on an 85% discount for the price of £2.99, which is a phenomenal deal, as it includes Dead Island 1 and 2 Remastered, with all of the DLC plus the Retro Revenge spin-off as well. So you're getting two full AAA games, and a third indie game as well, which is great value at this price. It's dirt cheap. In these first-person shooters, you wake up on an island resort in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, and now you must team up with the other survivors, in order to gather resources and work together to survive and escape the island. I've played most of the first game of this, and it's really fun, especially if you play it with friends. It's a good laugh. You can play the whole game in co-op, 
and the second game especially is designed to be played in a 4 player co-op team, which is fantastic. If you really like zombie games, or if you've got a group of friends to play games with, you should definitely take a look at this. They're great games with some really cool co-op options. And if you've never played a zombie apocalypse first person shooter before, you might want to check this out. It was really popular at the time and people still love them now. They've got a really cool crafting melee system and it's generally a lot of fun to play, with a pretty decent story as well. So if you like the sound of that, at this price, why not check them out? You're getting a lot of game for your money and they're really good as well. Up next is my star buy, Just Cause 3 XXL Edition. It was released in 2018, so it's 4 years old, and is on an 86% discount for the low price of £3.49, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really awesome deal for such a really good game. As this edition includes over £24 worth of DLC, featuring the 3 air, land and sea expansions, the Reaper missile mech, a weaponized vehicle, explosive weapon packs, and the Kusava rifle as well. So you get a ton of extra DLC packs, and a load of extra vehicles and equipment as well. So you're getting a huge amount of extra content for you to have a lot of fun with in this amazing game. In this third person open world action game, you play as Rico Rodriguez as he fights to free his homeland, the Medici Island country, from the dictator General Sebastiano Di Ravello, using an arsenal of explosives, fun weapons and gadgets. I've completed this game myself and I absolutely loved it. It's got a really cool system with parachutes and tethers where you can parachute into the sky, tether to a car or a building to pull yourself in and you can also attach explosives to a load of stuff as well which you can remote detonate for a lot of hilarious fun. Combine that with a load of cool weapons to play with and vehicles to drive and then you can see why it's a ton of fun to play and why I'm recommending it as the star buy. It's basically all the fun stuff for GTA without any of the negative drawbacks like a police rating. There's only military to worry about in this game, but you're so tooled up, you can take on anything and have a lot of fun doing it. It's amazing. If you like action games or messing around in GTA, this is the sort of game you should pick up. You'll really enjoy it and it's an amazing game for an amazing price. And if you've never played an open world action game like this before, this is one of the best places to start. You can get some others, but this is one of the best. You can't go far wrong with this one. So if you're interested at all, definitely take a look at this. It's well worth the money and you can have a ton of fun blowing stuff up all over the island with it. You won't regret it, I promise. Like I said, it's my star buy. Do yourself a favour, and take a look at it. It's time to visit Australia. Mad Max. It was released in 2015, so it's 7 years old, and it's on a 70% discount for the price of £4.79, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and an awesome price for a really awesome game. This is a third-person open-world action game set in the apocalypse world of Mad Max. So if you're a big fan of the films, you'll really enjoy it. And if you're not a big fan of the films, then you will if you like driving and combat. Because it's got a really unique combat system around vehicles. So if that sounds great to you, why not check it out? We have a racing game next. Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game for Special Edition. Well, that's a big name. It was released in 2021, so it's only a year old. And it's on an 85% discount for the price of £8.99 which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a pretty decent deal. Just be careful as the PS4 and PS5 versions are separate, so make sure you're picking up the right one when you buy it. And this edition includes the Season Pass, so you get all of the content included with that as well, which is really great. This motocross game features a brand new career mode, a new track editor, the new compound to train and challenge friends in Fantastic Island scenarios, and over 100 official brands for customization. Over 100 riders from the 250SX and 450SX categories, and it includes 11 stadiums and 17 official tracks to race on. So if you're a fan of motocross, this is great for you. It's got a ton of official content and a lot of different game modes to play. So if that sounds like you, take a look at this game. I'm sure you'll really enjoy it, especially for this good price. And hey, if you've never played a motocross game before, then I'm not sure I'd recommend this one to start with. It is a good deal but the older ones are much cheaper, so if you're not sure, you might as well start with the cheaper ones first, and then if you like them, you can always buy the newer ones later. Up next we have MotoGP 21. It was released in 2021, obviously, so it's only a year old, and it's on an 85% discount for the price of £5.99, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really great deal. This is another game where the PS4 and PS5 editions are sold separately, so make sure you're picking up the right version, as you can upgrade one to the other, so be careful which one you pick up. Anyway, this racing game allows you to play all of the 2021 seasons for Moto GP, Moto 2 and Moto 3, 
and it features over 120 official riders, over 20 tracks, more than 40 historic riders and their iconic bikes as well. So you're getting a ton of official content and a lot of tracks to race on. So if you're a fan of MotoGP, this is a really good deal for you. So why not check it out? And hey, if you've never played a MotoGP game before, then you can get the older ones way cheaper than this. But if you want something a bit newer, this is a really good deal. So if you like the look of it, why not take a look? Our next game is Moving Out Deluxe Edition. It was released in 2022, so it's brand new. And it's on a 75% discount for the price of £6.24, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really great deal. As this edition includes the Movers in Paradise DLC, and Employees of the Month pack for two extra levels, and a ton of new movers to play as for the complete game experience. In this game, you get to start an exciting new career in moving, controlling a cast of movers as you attempt to load up your moving van with all of the customer's precious belongings. It features local co-op, physics-based gameplay, and lots of humor and fun as well. This looks like a great little game for playing with your mates, or your kid, or even parties. It'd be a great laugh for friends, that's for sure. As you don't have to be delicate at all when moving stuff, if you're on the second floor and you can't be bothered to walk it down the stairs, throw it out the window onto the floor below. It's fine. It's all acceptable as long as you get to the truck in time, which makes for some fun and hilarious gameplay, and a lot of cool moments that I'm sure will be great with mates. So if you like the idea of helping people move by wrecking their house and having a ton of fun, definitely check this game out. Pretty much the only game I think is similar to is Overcooked. So if you really enjoyed that series, you'll probably get a lot of fun out of this too. So if you like the sound of that, definitely check it out. It's very different, but it's also fun and unique. If you play games with friends or at parties or your kid, there's a lot of fun to be had with this, that's for sure. And hey, if you've never played a game like this before, then like I said, it's pretty unique, so you don't have many other options. If you're interested, why not take a look at this? Or you can always wait for Overcooked to go on sale instead. Those are basically the only options I can think of. So either way, if you like the sound of them, take a look at this game, or wait for the other ones to come on sale instead. We have another fighter next. One Punch Man, a hero nobody knows, Deluxe Edition. It was released in 2020, so it's only two years old, and is on an 86% discount for the price of £8.39 which is a really great deal for such a well-known franchise. Especially as this edition includes £15.99 worth of DLC, including the season pass of four additional characters, and some extra outfits and skins as well, which is great. In this game, you get to play as your favourite hero, or create your own including your powers and abilities. It features a dynamic 3v3 fighting system, with events as seen in the anime. And it also includes local and online two-player multiplayer as well, which is great. I watched the first series of this anime and I really enjoyed it. So if you did too, and you like fighting games, why not take a look at it? It looks like a really great game. And if you've never played a fighter before, then I would only recommend this if you're a fan of One Punch Man. Otherwise there's plenty more fighters around, and they go on sale pretty regular, for lower prices than this as well. So you might want to take a look around in that case. Planet Alpha is our next game. It was released in 2018, so it's 4 years old and it's on a 70% discount for the price of £2.39, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really great deal. In this platformer, after being marooned on an alien world full of mystery and danger, you must harness the power of night and day to escape the relentless enemies and survive. Hopefully you'll piece together your story as you explore this strange world, and even get your freedom if you can. This looks like a really cool, aesthetically pleasing action platformer. The graphics are beautiful, the level design looks amazing. If you're a fan of old school platformers, you should definitely do yourself a favour and check this game out. It's really great, it's really cool, and it's at a great price as well. If you like platformers, definitely check it out. And hey, if you've never played a platformer before, this is a really good place to start. It's a really good, high quality modern one, at a really great price. So if you've always been tempted to try them out, or you're looking for another one to play, why not take a look at this one? I don't think you can go far wrong with it. We have an RPG next, Sword Art Online Lost Song. It was released in 2015, so it's 7 years old, and it's on an 85% discount for the price of £6.74, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really great deal, especially for a Japanese-based RPG. They don't get much cheaper than this, especially when they're a big franchise. In this action JRPG, you join Kirito as he explores Svart Alfheim Online for the first time. It features an original story filled with familiar faces and a new aerial battle system, with many customization features. So if you're a big fan of Sword Art Online, you'll probably really enjoy this game. And if you've got no idea what Sword Art Online is, then you'll probably want to play some other JRPGs instead. 
because you can get bigger deals on more AAA games as well. So take a look around in that case. And the final game I have for you is Wasteland 3 Colorado Collection. It was released in 2021, so it was only a year old, and it's on a 75% discount for the price of £9.99, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a great deal for a great AAA game with a ton of content included, as this collection includes the Battle of Steel Town and the Cult of the Holy Detonation DLC as well. So you get a ton of extra gear and a load of extra story content as well, which is great. You gain the complete experience for a really great game. In this turn-based strategy RPG, you get to take control of some desert rangers as you try to save Arizona by embarking on a desperate quest to gain help in exchange for ridding Colorado of three bloodthirsty warlords. It features base building, story decisions, and two-player online multiplayer as well, so it's a great game to play with your mates. This game series is really highly acclaimed, they got really well reviewed when they came out, and people have loved them ever since. They started a really good franchise with these games, and I think they'll be well remembered for decades to come. If you're a fan of RPGs or isometric games, you should definitely check these out. There's a ton of content in them and everybody raves about them. They're really good quality games. Why not check them out? And if you've never played a turn-based strategy RPG before, this looks like the best series to start with. Now you could always start with the older ones first if you want, but that's up to you. This is a really good one with a ton of content, so you can always check this one out. Or you can wait for another sale and hope the other ones come on sale as well. So why not subscribe and then you won't miss out when they do. And that's all the games I have for the end of year deals PSN sale. What did you think of the games I picked? Did I pick good ones and did I pick bad ones? And what about the Star Boy? Did it deserve it or should some other game have got it instead? Leave all your complaints down in the comments and we can talk about it later. Anyway, I hope you guys find some cool games to play, but more importantly I hope you saved a lot of money. I'll see you guys in the next sale. Oil Vower.